Let's look in on police headquarters. The time is close to midnight. Manigan is holding down the desk while the sergeant is out for a bite to eat. Oh, sure, and I wish the sergeant would get back. I'd like me little trundle bed and some shut eye. Oh. Take it easy, Manigan. You won't get hurt. You always wanted to meet the blue beetle. Well, here he is. It's no use to struggle. The blue beetle is stronger than you are. I'll just stuff this handkerchief in your mouth and then tie you up. And I'll carry you into the room where you keep the fingerprint files. There you are. Now, over my shoulder you go up, says Daisy. Here we are. Now, just lie there like a good little boy. I want to examine these files. Now, let me see. Type 27B, 28B, 29, 30, 31B. Yes, that looks like it. Fingerprints of Joe Bugs Magotti, and here's his photograph. Yes, Mr. Bugs Magotti, those are your fingerprints, all right. You're the guy that stole that murder gun. Well, Mr. Bugs McGotty, you're going to get nipped by the Blue Beetle and nipped hard. Reach for the ceiling, Mr. Blue Beetle. Ah, the beautiful daughter of the police commissioner. Don't move. I'll shoot if you do. I have no intention of moving unless it's to step within the aura of such a charming person as yourself, Miss Dunley. What are you doing here? And why is your gagged and tied up Officer Mannequin there? I'm here to obtain evidence against the opium gang your father is trying to round up. I tied up Officer Mannequin there to prevent his interfering. Why didn't you enlist his aid? After all, he's working on this case. The Blue Beetle works alone. But how do I know you're working for rather than against my father? Well, if my charming captor will lower that toy revolver which he's holding in an untoo-steady hand, the Blue Beetle will tell us something to gladden her father's heart. Very well. But don't try any tricks. Not a trick, my dear young lady. Now listen. I promise you that before daylight, your father will have the opium gang under lock and key, together with enough evidence to convict them. How do I know you'll keep your promise? Let this seal my promise. Oh. Good night, my sweet. I'd like to linger after that kiss, but the Blue Beetle has a duty to perform. Take me with you, Blue Beetle. Let me stand by your side when you... He's gone. Maybe to die alone. No, I can't let him. I must help him. I must, I must. <laughs> Like a bloodhound on the trail once he gets the scent, the Blue Beetle sped on his mission. And like the bloodhound, he'll never let up till he runs his quarry to earth. But close on his heels goes the commissioner's daughter, determined to have a part in the roundup of the nefarious gang of dope peddlers. Little did she know that close behind as she hurried down the darkened street, a car was slowly following her. There she goes. That's the commissioner's girl. Let's never know. Wait. Wait till she passes that street light. Now, out you go. Make it snappy and keep it quiet. Okay, boy. Uh, excuse me, lady. What? I... Who are you? Grab her. Come oh, on. Let me go. I got it. Come on. Okay. Here's the car. I'll stick this gag in the mouth. There. Now open the door. We got it, boss. All right, come on in. Yeah. Well, the commissioner will pay his big dough to get his darling daughter back alive. <laughs> the Blue Beetle. Will the Blue Beetle be able to rescue the beautiful daughter of the police commissioner? Will he locate the hideout of the dope ring? Will he be able to collect enough evidence to convict them? Through the silent night down by the waterfront, two powerful cars are speeding along. The first car is full of men, hard-looking men, desperate men, killers all. But who is this lone occupant of the second car? Ah, yes, it is the Blue Beetle. That looks like the car that passed me the day I was machine gunned. I'll just follow her. It may lead me to the dope peddler's hangout. They suspect me. They've got a machine gun pointing out of the rear. There it goes. I better give them a ruffle with my synchronized machine gun before they shoot away my windshield. That super shatterproof glass is good, but I don't know how good. All right, you rats. How do you like this? <laughs> I 
They must have got that driver. Their car's zigzagging. Oh, now they're speeding up. Well, here we go again. They're slowing down. They're turning into that warehouse. That's my gang, all right. Just the spot I was headed for. Now, Mr. Bugs McGotty for the final showdown. Closing the iron doors of the warehouse. I'll soon blast them open those special bombs Dr. Franz made for me. All right, you mugs, don't close that door. I'll blow you all the kingdom come. That's a beat. What you got in his hand? That's a bomb. Go on, drill him. Go ahead, Joe McGotty. Go ahead and shoot. I recognize you. Your bullets can't hurt the blue beetle. Ha, ha, ha. What did I tell you? Now it's my turn. Here goes your door. And I'm coming right in and mop up. <laughs> Here I come. You better drop your guns or I'll let you have another bomb. Yeah, this is for a Okay, white guy, blue beetle. Toss your little bomb and load the police commissioner's daughter to kingdom come along with us. They've got Mary Donnelly. Stop bluffing, McGotty. You can't fool me. She's not the commissioner's daughter. She's one of your mob, and she goes with you. I'll give you three seconds to drop your gun. One. Two. Okay, Beetle. You win. Now release the commissioner's daughter. And get those hands up. He's double-crossed on him. That's more like it. Now, Miss Donnelly, get some handcuffs. Slip them on those gangsters and bring me their guns. All right. That's better. Now, Miss Donnelly, you keep those men covered while I have a look around. That's a nice collection of dope you've got in these cans here. Here comes the law. Wait until the DA gets through with you. There'll be a few less criminals in this world. Blue Peter, you saved my life. These men were holding me for ransom. My father will reward you handsomely. The Blue Beetle seeks no reward, Miss Donnelly. He seeks only justice. Justice for the underdog and safety for the citizens of this great city. Now, you take this gun and keep those mugs covered. The police will be here any minute. I have no desire to meet them. But who are you? Please tell me. I can only tell you this. I'm the man who kissed you twice in one night. Oh. My respects to your father, Miss Donnelly. Tell him the Blue Beetle will always be at his service and running down criminals of all kinds. Away in his fast motor car sped the Blue Beetle, leaving the commissioner's daughter on guard over Bugs McGarty and his band of criminals. But close behind him speeds another car, a police car. Will the Blue Beetle be overtaken and unmasked? Ahead, a stoplight is changing from green to red. Will the Blue Beetle defy the traffic regulations to avoid discovery? Or will he obey the rules of safe driving? Mr. Blue Beetle himself. I've been following you for a mile. I thought I'd catch you at this stoplight. Come on, me bucko. I'll ride the running board back to the police station. And no funny business or I'll blow your brains out. So it's you again, Officer Mannequin. I'd love to take you for a ride. No, no, not of that. It's me that's taking you for a ride. I saw you drive out of that warehouse back there, so you were in with those dope peddlers. That's nice figuring, Officer Mannequin. It'll be Detective Mannequin after I turn you in. Now get going, Mr. Blue Beetle. It's too bad, Mannequin. We have to take such a lonely winding road along the waterfront. Listen, Mr. Blue Beetle, the slightest move and you'll be Mr. Dead Beetle. Oh, yeah? Listen, you're interfering with my work, patrolman Mannequin. So there you go. Right off the running board into the river. Have a nice swim for yourself until you cool off. Good night, Detective Mannequin. <laughs> And so the mysterious and thrilling character known as the Blue Beetle, after rounding up a gang of criminals, slips away to let the police take credit for cleaning up the dope racket. The next morning, patrolman Dan Garrett drops in for a visit with Dr. Franz. Well, Daddy, I, I see you let the police take all the credit again. Sure. 
I can't let my buddies down. According to newspaper reports, your friend Mannigan got tossed into the river by some of the gangsters whom he had captured single-handed. So that's his story. <laughs> that ain't the way I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> I bet the blue beetle had something to do with it. Well, you'd win your bet. You know, when I met him this morning, he had the sniffles. And he said he caught a cold. So I asked him if he'd been in swimming without his sweater. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and didn't he get wise to the swimming gag? Yeah, after a minute. He wanted to know how I knew he'd been in the water. I told him I heard it from one of the boys. Hey, Doc, you heard the latest news? Why, no, no. Uh, what is it? Well, the authorities have got wind of a plot to sabotage that new army pursuit plane that's being tested tomorrow out of the flying field. Sabotage? That's my speed. Maybe I can get him the detail to the flying field. So long, Doc. I gotta get over to headquarters. Though some nation is envious of Uncle Sam's superiority in the manufacture of aircraft, what will happen at the airfield? Will the Blue Beetle be able to uncover this plot in time? Will he be able to run the criminals to earth? Those are all questions which will be answered in the next edition of the Blue Beetle. Copyrighted Fox feature appearing in Mystery Men Comics Magazine on sale at your newsstand. The Blue Beetle is on the air twice a week on this same station. Consult the broadcast schedule in your local newspapers. And don't forget to listen in.